Today's live stream will start in a few moments. Don't go away. Where is Mr. Duncan today? Find out in a few moments. Don't forget to give me a lovely like. Give me a thumbs up. Go on, you know you want to. Today's live stream start in a few moments. Don't go away. If you listen very carefully, you might be able to hear the sound of water flowing along a river. Before Are you ready? With some good catch my breath. Dear, that was a lot of exercise I just did. <clears throat> wow. And I've just remembered that I forgot to bring some water. This was to actually bring some water but I completely forgot all about it. So, here we go. I hope you can see me clearly. I hope you can hear me clearly. If you can, please say, Mr. Duncan can hear you clearly. We can see you clearly. Today I am in a very creepy place. I am deep in another forest, so this particular forest is a different forest. It is a different forest. So you can see it is a different forest. So you can see how standing together. And that is the theme of all of these special live streams. It is all about every person feeling as if they are not alone, because you are not alone. Even though it's Mr. Steve is not here, he has gone to see him in the middle of this forest. Maybe you can hear 
It might be my connection. I'm going to see how well I am actually connected because sometimes you might have a problem with the connection on your mobile phone. So we will see. It looks as if everyone is having a problem with the connection. So I won't stay here very long. I suppose I should go somewhere else <laughs> if you can't. So oh good. I think you are right. Anyway, let's have a look. This is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you okay? I hope so. Are you happy? I hope you are happy. Here we go again. Another live stream. And I am out and about. I have decided to go for a walk. I think the connection here is not very good. So I hope you can see the place is not very far. The unusual place. Walking up some steps. I was walking up some special steps. And this particular area is a very well-known landmark. This place is called the 99 Steps. <laughs> Although I have counted them and there aren't 99 Steps. His mother's. So Steve is with his mother today and apparently they are all wearing masks. Yes, I think the connection here isn't very good. It isn't very good because I am trying to improve the signal if I can. If I can't improve it, if I can't improve the signal, then I will stop the connection and I will go somewhere else. So this is just wanted to try something different, but it wouldn't, <laughs> it wouldn't work, unfortunately. So maybe I should take a little walk. I will go for a little walk up the steps and maybe then we will have a better connection. Shall we try that? Shall we go up the steps together? And then we can enjoy, hopefully, a very clear signal. So just stay with me. Don't go away. Please don't go away. So I will move to a higher place because the place I am in is very low down, very low. So I will try to walk up the steps very slowly and hopefully, shall we? Ninety-nine steps. <laughs> Can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe I'm doing this. <sighs> Dear. Oh. <sighs> that was fun. What about now? Can you see me now? Do I look better? Is the signal better? Wow, that was a long way. <laughs> that is where we have come from. Look at that. <laughs> the 99 steps, even though there aren't 99 steps, there are about 79 steps. Oh, I'm a little out of breath. Please excuse me. <laughs> if you hear a thumping sound, that is my heart beating very fast. It is better, but not good. Oh dear. We're not having a very good time here, are we? Apparently, I think it's better now. Oh, I tell you something, I am completely out of breath. We will go a bit further, we will go a little bit further and then hopefully the signal will get better. I hope so. <laughs> if not, I think I will cry, cry a lot, <laughs> forever. Here we go then. Mr Duncan is on the move again. It is so windy. <laughs> it 
it is a very windy day here in the UK. Whew. My goodness. It is very windy, can I just say? <laughs> the place I am in at the moment. So because I am now at the top of the hill, I am now facing all of the strong wind. So here at the top of the hill, it is very windy. And that is the reason why I decided to do this live stream from down there, because down there, it isn't. It isn't very windy. <laughs> Up here, it's very windy indeed. In fact, it's freezing cold. I did feel warm earlier. I felt quite warm, but now I feel cold. Can I say hello to the live chat? I don't know how long this will be for, but I will say hello to some of you on the live chat. Hello, Angela. Hello, Heshan. Hello Julie, apparently in the Czech Republic people are now being told that they must wear masks. So yes, I think it is something that is happening a lot at the moment. Many people are being told that they have to wear masks, face masks, unfortunately, because of, well, <laughs> I think you know what I'm talking about. I think everyone on the planet knows what I'm talking about now. Hello also to Mohamed Abi Jama watching in Somalia. Hello Somalia, nice to see you here today. It is so cold at the moment. When I arrived here I was really hot and sweating but now I am freezing cold so I hope you can hear me okay. You might be able to hear the wind blowing because there is a very strong wind blowing around. Hello also to Alam Gear, Anna Kobe. Hello Anna Kobe. Welcome to my very unusual live stream. I am now out in the middle of a forest. Would you like to have another view? I will turn around slightly so you can see another view right behind me. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Now, if you look very carefully, you might be able to see lots of leaves. So all of the leaves you can see behind me are from last autumn. So all of those leaves over there are actually the leaves that fell last autumn. Now, they are actually still here. <laughs> they are still here. Yes, there are many trees around here. Look, look at all the trees. I am surrounded by trees. So I hope the signal is all right. I know sometimes here on YouTube, the signal is not very good, but don't worry. It is not your fault. It is my fault because I am now in a very isolated place, isolated. So I have literally isolated myself. Here I am, isolated, alone in the forest. I wonder if this forest is haunted. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I've never seen any ghosts here, so hopefully there aren't any. I hope not. Cool. I know one thing, I am freezing. So today I am isolated. I am on my own. I am in the middle of a forest and I am here to give you some positive words. I'm here to tell you that you are not alone. We are all going through a very similar experience, including here in the UK, where all of the bars, all of the cinemas, nightclubs, theatres, so all of those places cafes, restaurants, they have now all closed, completely, completely closed. 
Ed Gann asks, how did you get there? Did you walk or did you go in a car? I walked here because I don't have a car, unfortunately. Sadly, I don't own a car myself, so I walked here. But at least I'm getting lots of exercise. I'm getting a lot of good fresh air and exercise. Sweetness, hello sweetness, nice to see you here today. Once again, I am on my own, isolated in the middle of a forest. And I hope you are enjoying this live stream. Something different. Noemi says, Much Wenlock is the perfect place to be in quarantine. I think so, because there aren't many people here. And especially where I live, because there are very few people living near me. So that is the reason why I can come out, I can walk around, and I can be safe all the time. Unless, of course, these trees have something that I might catch. Who knows? Mr Duncan, are you escaping <laughs> the illness? Well, I'm not escaping it, but I am trying to stay healthy and active. So that's the reason why I come out for a walk every day, just to keep myself healthy. And of course, I want to share some of my time with you as well. So we are all in the same situation. Remember, you are not alone. You don't have to worry about being alone. I am here with you during this very strange period of time. And yes, I am live with you. What time is it? It is 10 minutes to two. 10 to two, look. It is 10 to two. 10 to two. 10 minutes to two o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. Please be careful, Mr. Duncan. You might catch a cold. Well, I'm okay at the moment. I have no illnesses. However, at the moment, I have a little bit of earache. So one of my ears is a little bit painful, but I think that is because of the cold wind blowing in my ear. So that's the reason why. Have a nice day, says Hang Fam. I will try my best. What are you doing this weekend? What are you doing? How are you spending your time this weekend? So we have today, Saturday, and also tomorrow as well. So what are you doing this weekend? What are you doing to relax? What are you doing to stop yourself from becoming bored? Because a lot of people here in the UK are already complaining that they feel bored. Already. Now we have a few more weeks of this to go through. So this is not over at all. We have maybe three months or maybe even four months of this still to come. A very long time. So I am trying my best to stay active and stay positive, find things to do. I have found lots of things to do at home. I am also doing my regular live streams like this. So I will be doing my best to keep myself busy. Maloka, Maloka says, I do nothing but study. Well, I think that's a good idea. It's a great time to do some studying especially for many students who are now at home because the schools have closed. So for many people, for many people, they are now at home, including young people and also older people as well. Many businesses have closed. Here in the UK, people are really upset by the fact that yesterday, yesterday they, they couldn't go to work. That's it. So it's a very strange period of time. Vinocio, Vinocio Vivar says, I am going to do some exercise for 30 minutes per day in order to relax. Yes, I think exercise is a very good way of keeping your body and also your mind active and calm. So I am a very big believer in getting exercise. Of course, don't forget, if you are doing some exercise, do it away from other people, but make sure you get some fresh air as well, which is why I am doing it. Hesham, hello Hesham, watching in Egypt. 
Hesham says we use remote learning here in Egypt a very good idea I think so I think remote learning is a wonderful thing it is a great piece of technology so yes I agree with you I think remote learning is something that is becoming very popular so of course we have lots of technology such as Skype so maybe you could use Skype to talk to your teacher or maybe you can use Skype to talk to your friends and relatives maybe you could study together on Skype so yes there are many ways of using modern technology to help you with your learning I think so and we have things like zoom as well zoom is another way of communicating and contacting people through the internet you can use Facebook of course on Facebook you also have an opportunity to live stream Nestor is here <laughs> Wow perhaps you can hear the wind blowing through the trees hello Nestor nice to see you here we are having to stay in our homes we are locked up at home yes so if you you have to stay in your house you can say you are locked away or you are locked up you are locked in your house <laughs> there are some strange sounds behind me some very strange noises I think it's the trees blowing so sometimes the trees will will catch each other they will collide and then they make a very strong sound a very loud noise so yes you, you can be locked in your house you can be locked away you can be living in isolation and that's where I am today I am isolated here out in the middle of nowhere standing alone with lots of leaves around me hello Saurab Saurab Singh hello Saurab Singh nice to see you here today on the live stream we have a lot of people watching now and as I promised yesterday because I was with you live yesterday in my studio and don't forget I will be with you tomorrow as well in my studio don't forget these are my words of encouragement things could always be worse things could always be worse we always like to look on the bright side of things so things could always be worse and remember remember look on the bright side always try to look on the bright side whatever is happening in your life whatever is going wrong whatever is occurring don't forget things could always be worse look on the bright side look on the bright side of life things could always be worse here's another one I like this one <laughs> this is something I am doing every day so you don't have to feel alone and worried oh yes make the best of a bad deal if you make the best of a bad deal it means you find positive things from something bad that has happened to you <laughs> there are some buzzards flying over my head can you hear them there are some buzzards flying around how do you find how do you find the bright side well just like I am doing I have found something to do I have found a bright side of life by doing this so even things even though things are bad at the moment I am still trying to find something to keep me in a positive frame of my <laughs> I am having difficulty handling my paper by the way 
because it's so windy. <laughs> Dear. My paper is blowing everywhere. Always remember every cloud has a silver lining. However bad things seem, remember every cloud has a silver lining. Something good might come of this situation. Maybe you will have a chance to get in touch with your friends and relatives who you haven't seen for a long time. So why don't you get in touch with someone through your computer? Send them an email. Maybe you can meet them on Skype. So perhaps you can live with this on your mind. Every cloud has a silver lining. There is always something nice to look at, always a positive side to find. Hello, Noor Zones. Hello, Noor Zones Show. How are your precautions going? Your accent, I love it. Thank you very much. My precautions are going okay, but the problem is People are going a little bit crazy, you see, at the moment. People are going slightly mad because they are rushing to the shops and buying lots of things. So here in the UK, some of the supermarkets are having difficulty keeping their stock in the shops because lots of people are going in and buying lots and lots of things. They are buying things in bulk. They are stockpiling their food and also their toilet paper as well. I think so. <laughs> Very strange times we are living in. I think we are. Oh, here's another one. This is my favourite one. I like this one very much. However bad things seem, however gloomy the future appears, always remember there is light at the end of the tunnel. There is light at the end of the tunnel. There is always a little glimmer of light ahead. And that is what we are heading towards. We are trying to find that light at the end of the tunnel. There is always light at the end of the tunnel. So things might seem gloomy and bad, but remember, there is always light at the end of the tunnel. And that is what I'm trying to do. So I'm staying positive. I'm doing this for you. And hopefully you are enjoying it as well. It is a way of sharing this very unusual and also unique experience. I must be honest with you. I have never lived through anything like this before. This is such a strange period of time, don't you think? So, in a strange way, I am trying my best to make the best of this. So you make the best of a bad situation. You try to get something positive from a negative thing. So this is a negative situation. However, what I am trying to do is find something positive, to get something positive from a bad situation. And that's what I'm doing right now. And I hope you are enjoying it. I am now here on YouTube live in the middle of a forest. I am self-isolating today. <laughs> there is just me and lots and lots of trees all around. I just had Palmyra says my friend in London cannot order food for home because all of the orders online are until the end of April. You are right, yes. The same situation is happening all over the UK here. So normally I will buy my shopping through the internet and then my shopping will be delivered to my house. But at the moment we can't do it. It is impossible because everyone wants to have their food delivered to their house. So there is a shortage of delivery drivers. There aren't enough people to deliver the food. So yes, it is bad. It is not a good situation. I hope you are enjoying my strange isolation. I am here in the middle 
of a forest <laughs> on a Saturday afternoon. It is now four minutes past two o'clock. Four minutes past two. Mr. Duncan, don't lose your spirit. No, I won't. I will try my best not to lose my spirit. And of course, we are all in the same situation. We are all in a very similar situation. So don't worry about it. Have fun, enjoy your life, take care of yourself and always look on the bright side of life. <laughs> it's a bit like a song by Monty Python. Always look on the bright side of life, even though we have to stay in the house with our wife. <laughs> Sorry. I probably shouldn't have said that. I'm a naughty boy. I'm going to move a little bit further over. Excuse me. I'm going to walk <laughs> in a different direction. I hope you can still hear me. Oh, there are some people coming by. There are some people approaching. They are coming this way. <laughs> wow. There are some people walking by like the other day. Do you remember the other day there were some people walking by? Well, the same thing is happening now. There are some people walking past and they are out enjoying the countryside, just like me, I suppose. So if you have a look in a moment, there are some people walking by. They are actually having a little wonder around. So that is what is happening at the moment. It's a very interesting period of time, I think so. So hello to everyone. Oh, we have a lot of viewers now. Hello to everyone. Nice to see you here today. I am live on YouTube. It's Mr. Duncan. For those who don't know me, maybe it is your first time. <laughs> maybe it is your first time here. I'm Mr. Duncan. I teach English, but at the moment I am doing some special English lessons and also some live streams during this very strange period of time. And can you see that the, the sun has come out as well? The sun has come out. Hello, Mr. Sunshine. Nice to see you here today. Isn't that lovely? So I just had some people go by. Did you see them? They were, they were really curious. They were wondering what I was doing. They were wondering. They were thinking to themselves, what is that strange man doing? What is he doing? He's standing in the middle of a forest talking to himself but they don't realize that I'm talking to you live on YouTube hello Nadia I love English but I'm bad at speaking oh I'm sorry to hear that Noemi says it looks like there might be some fairies there yes <laughs> there might be quite a few fairies here at least one anyway Nadia says, I love the English language, but I'm bad at speaking and also writing. Please help me. Well, don't forget, writing and speaking are two different skills. They are very different skills. So it's a bit like walking and driving a car. They are both very similar because they are moving in a certain direction. You are traveling from one place to another. However, walking and driving a car practically are very different so I like your colorful clothes thank you very much <laughs> I'm not sure if my clothes are colorful but I'm trying my best to keep things bright and cheerful today are you aware wow the live chat is so busy are you aware of Ravi Singh the CEO of Kasla Aid. 
No, I am not. He is donating valuable items in the UK as well as India. Yes, well, it's very interesting that during periods of time when things are difficult or when things are bad, people will often help each other. So it is great to see so many people stepping forward and offering their services for free and they are giving aid to other people. So yes, I think it is amazing that so many people are now offering their time and offering assistance to other people because there are many people who are in a bad situation. Maybe they are elderly and they can't get outside. So there are situations where people <laughs> there are situations where people are willing to help others and quite often they will do it for free. Emmanuel Emanuela says my boyfriend loves your hat. Thank you very much. My hat. I have to wear this hat today because my ears are very painful because the cold the cold wind has gone into my ears and it's a little bit painful. Hello Kwani Siklid. Hello to you. Hello also Helena. Hello Helena. Hello also RHS. Is this public land? This part is public land. Yes. So we can walk around freely in this area because this is not private. So this area is public. So you can walk along here and no one can stop you. <laughs> Are you enjoying the sound of the wind? Alan Gear says, please, Mr. Duncan, be careful of the fairies. They might take you away and we would lose our live chats. Don't worry, I will, I will keep a lookout. I will be aware of strangers walking around me. Maybe they will try to take me away into their underground lair. The only animals around here are squirrels and birds. Although today there aren't many birds around because it's very windy. I think the birds have decided to stay at home. I have started to make some soup. Oh, wow, I like that. Oh, yes, I like that. I have started to make some soup. I like the sound of that. Oh, I could just have some soup now. Can you send some of the soup to me? That sounds like a really nice idea. Emanuela says, is it still muddy on the ground? Yes. There is a lot of water around because we had a lot of serious flooding last month and there was water everywhere. Rakesh. Rakesh is here. Oh, Mika. Mika Ode is here again saying hi to you. Hello, Mika. Nice to see you here. How are things in Japan at the moment? How are things going there? I know in certain parts of Asia, things are not as bad as they were in the past. But here in Europe, things have gone from bad to worse, unfortunately. So I'm trying to see your live chat. Let me just have a look. Luis Mendez says, in France, we are poor. Even people's health services lack the masks. Well, this is one of the things that is happening at the moment. Many of the health services are saying that they don't have enough equipment. They don't have enough supplies of things to help other people. So this is a big problem that is occurring at the moment. A lot of people are not able to give medical help to others because there is a shortage. There is a shortage of medical equipment. Things that can help people to protect themselves, such as masks and also breathing equipment. So things that will help people to breathe if they suffer with lung problems or breathing problems. 
So if a person has breathing problems, they will need special equipment to help them to breathe. But apparently there is a shortage of this type of equipment. Also, there is a shortage of testing equipment as well. Testing. So testing equipment to make sure that you can see who is ill or has the virus and who doesn't. <laughs> Someone has just commented on my gloves. <laughs> Do you like my gloves? <laughs> Hello. Why are you wearing red gloves and a brown jacket and a blue hat? Someone should call the fashion police. <laughs> Morton, <laughs> I love, I love your comment. Thank you very much. I like that. Thank you, Morton. Yes, sometimes my fashion is not very good. Sometimes I like to mix all of the colours together. So I have red. Oh, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> that is a little bit of mud. Can you see the mud on my gloves? So I'm wearing red gloves. I'm wearing a brown coat and a purple shirt and a white t-shirt and a blue hat as well. <laughs> I hope you are enjoying this very strange live stream live from England on a very windy day. Did you go for a walk through the forest today? Oh no, I, I think that that message is for someone else. Are you right? But I want to be optimistic and see the glass half full. Oh, thank you, Anna. Yes, I think that's a very good thought. Some people in life always stay positive. They always try to see the positive side of things. And I think it's very important during these difficult times to try and see the positive side of things. So there are people who will always see a glass of water half full. However, there are some people who see the glass of water half empty. So that means they are maybe negative people or maybe they always see the dark side of a situation. <laughs> Lacey Fletcher says, you bender. <laughs> well, I am very flexible. That is true. <laughs> I can't disagree with that comment. I am very flexible. I can bend all the way down to the floor. Hello Ong, is it allowed to climb trees? Well, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm allowed to climb up the trees, really, for two reasons. One, I might fall and break my arm and two, I might get stuck up there. <laughs> so, no. No, I don't think it's a good idea to climb up the trees, to be honest, because you might get stuck at the top. Or, of course, you might fall down and break your neck. Both of those things I do not advise. Hello, Anong. Hello to you. Thank you for your good teaching. You are welcome. And this is a very unusual moment of time. We are living through strange times. And there is nothing stranger than standing in the middle of a forest talking to yourself. But I think my gloves are lovely. I like my red gloves. You might say that I have been caught red-handed. <laughs> red-handed, you see. If you get caught red-handed, it means you get caught doing something wrong. Maybe you are caught stealing money from your boss. Maybe you are caught breaking into a house. We can say that you are caught red-handed, you see because you have red hands. Mm. <laughs> it's an interesting expression. The glass is both half empty and half full. I think that's a very good point. So maybe you can look at both sides of the situation. So for some people, maybe things are bad, but for others, things might be good. So you see, Did I just see an antelope behind you? I don't think so. We don't have antelopes here, although we do have deer. We have lots of deer roaming around this area. So you might see some deers 
moving around. Who knows? Mortin. Hello, Mortin. Nice to see you as well. Yes, here is my hand reveal. Do you like my hands? They are <laughs> being kept warm today. My gloves are very useful. Hello also to Offy. Hello, Offy or Afo. Sorry, I pronounced your name wrong. Afo. Are you familiar with Ki Shikak phenomenon? No, I, I'm not sure what that is. Perhaps you could explain. That might be a good idea. Ram Zanura says, Mr. Duncan, you can go to the forest, but we can't go anywhere. We are isolated on our own. Well, this is true, but I am here to let you know that you are not alone. You are not alone. There are many people at the moment who are in their houses here in the UK. They can't go out, so they are staying at home as well. So many people are in the same situation all around the world where you are and also here in the UK as well. So the reason why I'm doing these live streams is just to let you know that you are not alone. Lots of people are having a difficult time. This is a very unusual time, I must be honest. Are you afraid of the deer? They can be dangerous when they are mating. Ooh. <laughs> yes. I'm just having a very strange image in my mind of a giant stag trying to mate with me. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like it or not. What is your opinion on rats? My opinion on rats? Well, they can be very dirty things. They spread diseases. So yes, rats can, can yes, they can be a pest. So here in the UK, we normally kill rats if they are around people's houses. So we see them as vermin. Oh, I like that word, vermin. So when we talk about vermin, we are talking about animals that are pests. They often breed in very large numbers and they will be everywhere, everywhere. So they have to be controlled. You have to make sure that there aren't too many rats. So they have to be controlled. Francesco says you will never walk alone. Yes, that is a very famous song by Jerry and the Pacemakers. You'll never walk alone and you won't because you have my live streams to keep you company. <laughs> Afo. Afo. Oh, thank you, Afo. What is your opinion on Islam? Well, that's a very big subject. I'm not a religious person, so to be honest with you, I don't really get too worried by any religions, to be honest, because I'm not a religious person. I don't follow any religion. I'm not a person who goes to church. So to be honest with you, if your religion makes you happy and it gets you through the day without crying, then yes, no problem. Christianity, Islam, even if you're, you are a Mormon, even Mormons. I have never met an unfriendly Mormon. Mormons are always very friendly. I think so. <laughs> Hello, Louis, Louis Ferry. Hello, Louis Ferry. Nice to see you here. I believe that we only have one planet. It is true. It is true. Yes, the planet is a single thing. We only have one Earth. You are true. Norzone asks, are you an atheist? Wow, this is a very heavy topic. I don't follow any religion. I'm not a person who follows organized religion. I don't pray. I don't worry about heaven or hell. So I suppose you might describe me as an atheist or I might be just a person who has an open mind about things. But if you want to believe it, if you want to believe in, you can believe in anything you want. Some people believe that there is a big flying spaghetti monster in the sky. And if you want to, you can, you can. Hello to Kemp Borden. Hello, Kemp 
nice to see you here as well hello to you where are you I wonder where people are today there are lots of people on the live chat but I wonder where you are watching at the moment so where you where are you in the world can you tell me right now Alam Gia says my religion is Islam but I don't hate other religions that's it well I think most people who follow a certain religion don't hate other people for their religions quite often you will see people coming together during difficult times I think so Kem Dogan says I am going stir crazy I am going stir crazy at home <laughs> I have a feeling that you are not the only one who is going crazy at home because you have to stay at home Luke says it is a lot of time wasted I think so yes well if you have nothing to do if you have nothing to do in your life if you are at home then yes it can be it can be very boring being at home no Spain here envying you as I would love to go to the countryside with my dogs hello Maria well maybe maybe there is some place near to your house where you can go perhaps there is somewhere where you can visit and maybe you can see the countryside or the wildlife huh? hello Corbina <laughs> Corbina <laughs> I'm loving your questions today your questions are amazing do you like hot anime girls <laughs> it seems like a very strange thing to keep in your house <laughs> but if it makes you happy then have fun doing it hello Black Garcha nice to see you here today it is Mr Duncan live on YouTube from England that's where I'm talking to you from at the moment live from England Guadeloupe says I have had a lot of work planning and sending information by internet although I am at home I have a lot of work this is something I mentioned earlier it is great isn't it because we have this wonderful technology that allows us to carry on so for many people they can still do their work isn't it strange we can still do our work including me so I am outside at the moment <laughs> talking to you through my mobile phone Chinese virus says shut up <laughs> Chinese virus no <laughs> is the answer to that one <laughs> months FIFA asks how old are you oh <laughs> that's a very interesting question a lot of people seem very interested in my age I don't know why oh Australia Australia hello to Michael hello Michael Michael Hunt I wonder what your friends call you yes I know what you're doing you think I don't know these things I have been on YouTube for 14 years so I know all all of those little tricks but welcome Michael Hunt mm. hello to Hannes group hello I am new nice to meet you hello Hannes my name is Duncan and I teach English on YouTube but today I am standing in the middle of the forest talking to myself <laughs> 14 years yes I have been on YouTube for 14 years I started doing this way back in 2006 when YouTube was just a little baby hello Morton can you give a shout out to my <laughs> Morton says can you give a shout out to my friend Peter Ennis mm. yes. hello Peter Ennis <laughs> hello Chan Beck watching in Vietnam I know I have a lot of people watching in Vietnam at the moment and the reason is because there is a lovely teacher in Vietnam called Alex D and he has sent many people 
to my YouTube channel. So that's nice. Dean, hello Dean, I am sick to death of wiping my bottom with socks and old rags because I still can't get any toilet paper. Can I tell you what I use? I actually use my back garden to wipe my bottom. So what I do is I sit on the lawn and I, I, I move around like a dog with worms. It works. Although you do have to pick some some of the <laughs> pebbles and stones out of your crack afterwards. Hello, Narn. When was the last time you saw your first video, lesson one? I remember watching that video and I didn't understand a single word. What about now? <laughs> do you understand now? That is the most important thing. Maybe you didn't understand it in the past, but maybe you do understand it now. <laughs> you can equally use water to clean yourself after going to the toilet. Yes, I think so. I really wish that I had a bee day. Have you ever seen a bee day? Bee days are brilliant because you can sit on the toilet and you can do your business. And then afterwards, a little, a little jet of water will go and clean you. I love that. So I really wish at the moment I had a bee day in my bathroom. <laughs> Corbina, do you like Jews? <laughs> I have no problem with Jewish people. I have no problem with human beings. I only have a problem with bad people. I like good people. I find good people are nice, but I don't like bad people. So as I said earlier, if it makes you happy, if it gets you through the day, thank you. Yes, weirdo. Yes, that is one of the many things I've been called in my long life. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you for reminding me. Oh, and also congratulations because you spelt the word weird correctly. Well done. It's not an easy word to spell, actually. It's not an easy word to spell. Hello, Lewis. Nice to see you here. How far are you from your home? I am around maybe uh, a mile, maybe one and a half miles from my house. So it will take me about half an hour to get back home. But yes, I am not very far away from my house. So don't worry, I'm okay. <laughs> Fletcher, hello Fletcher. What does your head look like without the hat? Well, there's nothing there. I don't have a skull. It's just my exposed brain matter. So I can't take this off or else the birds will fly down and start pecking at my cerebellum. Hello, it's evening here. How are you today? I'm OK, thank you. Hello, Asla, Asla Shah. No brain? <laughs> of course I have a brain and I can prove it <laughs> by doing this. Hello, the, cr the chat is very crowded today. I think there are many people here because they have nothing else to do because it's Saturday and everyone is at home. They are all in isolation. Including me, you see, I'm also in isolation. I am isolated away from everyone. <laughs> Can you guess why? Yes, it is getting very cold at the moment. In fact, it is freezing here. It is very cold here today. Mr. Duncan, you are really braving the elements to teach English live to the world. You are not kidding. Do you feel thirsty? Yes, I do feel thirsty. I could do with a lovely cup of tea. If you could bring a cup of tea to me, I would be very happy. Na says, what do you think is going to happen in the next few days with the virus. Well, I think lots of things are going to happen over the next few weeks. Some countries have got everything under control. Other countries are still trying to get everything under control. So yes, that's, I think in some countries, things are getting better. In other countries, things are getting worse. So I think at the moment here in the UK, I think 
at the moment things haven't got bad yet. I think we are still waiting here in the UK for things to get worse. So now all of the restaurants, bars, discotheques, <laughs> say discotheque. <laughs> Only if you are an old fart like me. <laughs> so yes, many of the shops, many of the restaurants, many people have now decided to close their businesses because they have been told to. So here in the UK, I don't think things have got worse at the moment. So I think we are still waiting to have the bad situation. I think so. I love my red gloves. I think my red gloves are the loveliest thing I've ever owned in my life. <laughs> you are a great teacher. Thanks a lot. I can't believe you can stand here talking to yourself for an hour. I don't believe it either. <laughs> Jamelia says, it seems to me that there are some nasty comments out there. Well, it doesn't matter. As long as it's keeping you entertained and busy and as long as you don't get, you don't get, <laughs> as long as you don't get bored, Afo says, please give a shout out to my friend Jack. Jack, oh, it sounds like he might be Russian. Jack Mayhof. Hmm. Jack Mayhof. Yes. Okay, a big hello to Jack Mayhof. <laughs> Are you in Ironbridge? No, I'm not in Ironbridge. I am a long way from Ironbridge. By the way, Ironbridge was underwater a few weeks ago. It, it, they had so much rain, the water was going everywhere. Mr. Duncan, it seems like you are happier than ever. Isn't it lovely? Thank you, Alan Gear. I always try to be happy and positive. As I said earlier, always look on the bright side of life because one day you won't be able to do this. This will all be gone because you will be gone. So I always try to look on the bright side of life, always try to be positive whenever you can. Life is a combination of sweet events and bitter events. This is true. In one of my English lessons, I talked all about life being unfair. Sometimes things will come along to spoil your plans for the future. So sometimes life can be smooth and nice and pleasant and sometimes it can be bumpy. Sometimes the road is not smooth. So I always say that life is full of ups and downs. Ups and downs. So basically that's what life is. What religion are you? I am not a religion you see. <laughs> Maybe one day I will be. Maybe people will come and pray to a large <laughs> statue of me holding my dictionary in my hand pointing off into middle distance. But probably not, probably not. No, I don't have a religion. I'm not a religious person. I think I mentioned that already. Kaiba, don't you work anywhere else? Do you mean me? <laughs> well, sometimes I work in the forest. Sometimes I work at home. <laughs> and sometimes I don't work anywhere because I'm asleep. Hello, Mr. Duncan. I think you don't have any live stream on Saturday. Normally I don't, but I'm here today because things are crazy. Nothing is normal at the moment. Have you noticed that the, the world has gone crazy? People, people are keeping toilet paper in their house. <laughs> there is no room in their house for people anymore. <laughs> they, have a, they have their house full of toilet paper. Hello, Hannes Group. You are a great teacher. Thank you very much. Angela. Hello, Angela. You are a legend. <laughs> I can't keep up with the, <laughs> the live chat is going by too quickly. Ram Zanura. Mr. Duncan, I am jealous of you because you are always positive. I will trust to stay positive. 
The thing is, if I can stand here in the middle of the countryside on a freezing cold day and still be happy, then there is hope for everyone. There is hope for all of mankind, I think so. Mm. Cecilia says, very funny today, better than ever. Oh, thank you very much for that. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing anything special today. I'm just talking. I'm talking into my camera. Can you see me? Megumi, how are you? Thanks for your live YouTube channel. You are welcome. I have been doing this for many years. I've been on YouTube for almost 14 years. I always like to say that I am the best kept secret on YouTube. I am the best kept secret. Not many, a select few people are aware that I exist. How come, how come the forest is clean, but I can't see any cleaners? Well, we have nature to take care of all of the litter. By that I mean the wind. So no, around here you don't get many people walking, you see. So around here there aren't many people walking around. So around here you won't see any, any litter or any plastic bags, nothing like that. I am very happy watching you after a long time. I am from Mexico and now I am living in Playa del Carmen. I will go to the beach today. Ooh. I am slightly jealous. You see, now I am jealous of you because you are going to the beach. That's not fair. <laughs> I'm all alone here in the middle of this big forest. But I wish I could go to the beach instead. That would be very nice. <laughs> have you ever been to Hungary? No, but I have felt it quite often. Now people only need to talk with someone. Yes, I think so. This is the reason why I'm doing it. I'm doing this because it's a nice way of sharing this experience. It is very easy to sit alone and think that everything is bad. However, sometimes you have to realize that everyone is feeling the same way. So we can all join together and we can share our experience of this very strange time. And that's the reason why I'm doing this live stream today. I thought it would be interesting to do something different. Ong Trum, are you going to do a live stream tomorrow? Yes, I am. I will be live tomorrow in my lovely warm studio tomorrow. And Mr. Steve will be there as well. So yes, I will be back there. <laughs> Alam Gia says, I want some food. I love sausages very much. Me too. <gasps> if there is one thing I love, it's a nice big juicy sausage, <sighs> especially first thing in the morning. Hello to Kaiba again. Do you love England? I think it is a boring place. England? Well, I suppose it depends where you go. I suppose certain parts of England might be boring, but other parts might be quite interesting. I always think wherever you go in the world, there are boring places and there are interesting places. There are parts of London that are boring, but there are parts of London that are Exciting. Mr. Duncan, lots of people are watching you. It must be the virus. Yes, maybe it has affected their brains and they can't control. <laughs> they can't stop themselves from watching me. Maybe it is one of the after effects. Maybe it is one of the symptoms. <laughs> you lose control of what you watch on your mobile phone. Beatrice says, I love England. A lot of people last week were worried about the Queen of England because she, well, first of all, she was at the palace in London, but now she's gone away. She's gone to her private castle. I wish I had a private castle. Thank you, Chinese virus. 888,000 
subscribers. <laughs> yes, my channel is slightly dead. You are right. It is on a life support machine. <laughs> my, <laughs> my YouTube channel is now on one of those little life support machines with, with the bleeping machine going bing, 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 like that. Seriously, your views are pretty low compared to the numbers, number of subscribers you have. Thank you very much for pointing these things out. I am aware of these things, by the way. <laughs> I do know these things are happening. I am very aware of my YouTube channel <laughs> and how well it is performing. But thanks for reminding me. It's very kind of you. <laughs> Hello, Lala. I've been to your land. Mr. Duncan, can you speak two words? Can and can? <laughs> Why do you think that is? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe people don't like me. Who, who knows? The <laughs> world is a very strange place. Mr. Duncan, do you think it would be nice to take a walk with your girlfriend or wife. You are all alone in the forest and that's not nice. Well, I am self isolating. <laughs> I am going to stay here for the next three months. In this forest, that's what I'm doing. Mr. Duncan, how does the word sound? Which word do you mean? I don't know which word you are talking about. I love the UK. Oh, we have a fan of the UK. Jamelia, God bless Her Majesty the Queen. <laughs> Apparently, if you are washing your hands and you sing God Save the Queen at the same time, that is the right amount of time that you should be spending washing your hands. God save our gracious queen. Long live our noble queen. God save our queen. So there. Hail Hydra. Yes, of course. Hail Hydra. Hydra. Wasn't that... <laughs> wasn't that Gary Shandling? Didn't Gary Shandling play Hydra in in the Marvel <laughs> superhero movies? As you can see, I don't really watch superhero movies, but I do know that Gary Shandling appeared as Hydra. That's all I know. Trump keeps mentioning me. Yes, well, Donald Trump likes talking about all sorts of things. He's a very knowledgeable man. He's so clever. He is a genius. Yes, guess what? Corona means crown. It does. You are right. Three months. How can you stay there without anyone around you? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to eat. I might have to catch some squirrels and eat them. Who knows what I will do? It's a bit like one of those reality TV shows with, with the man that lives in the middle of the forest on his own. So it's a little bit like that. The only difference is this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Guess what I just saw? I just saw some deer running by. Wow, that's incredible. I just saw some deer. I'm a bit excited now. I just saw three deer run by right in front of me. I can't believe it. <laughs> Are there any buzzwords to do with the forest today? I don't know. I suppose you can be uh, out of the woods. Oh, that's a good one. So if you are out of the woods, it means you are out of danger. So we can say if a person is ill in hospital, maybe they are on a life glug, one of those machines that is keeping them alive. Perhaps 
we can say that how is Mr. Smith? Is he out of the woods? Is he out of the woods? That means is he out of danger? Is he out of danger? Out of the woods. So to be out of the woods means that you are out of danger. You are no longer in danger. You are out of the woods. It's a great expression. Do deers fear people? Yes, they do. Deers are very timid. They normally like to stay in large groups and they will often run away if they see people. I love England and I hope I can go there one day. Thank you very much. <laughs> what is the difference between listen and hear? Well, it depends really on what you are actually doing. Hear is normally a passive thing, so the sound is coming to you. However, if you listen, it is an active thing, so it is something that you are doing. Hear, listen. So listening is you doing it. Hear is something that is coming into your ear, so you hear it. So it tends to be a passive thing. Hear, listen. I hope that explains that. How much do you bench? <laughs> do you know I can't remember the last time I went to the gym, so I don't know how much I bench. Do you mean lifting things, like, like a bench press? <laughs> Can you imagine me in a gym? Can you imagine me trying to lift weights in a gymnasium? <laughs> it would be so funny. The deer is countable. Well, when we say countable, we mean that you don't use it as a plural. So deer can be a single animal or a group of animal. So we don't tend to say deers. Deers. Morton says, can I have your Roblox? Can I have your Roblox? <laughs> Do you mean that there is a Roblox that looks like me? I hope not. Corbina says, I love BDSM. Well, a lot of people do get a little bit of a kick out of BDSM. <laughs> they get quite a kick out of it. <laughs> and maybe the occasional slap. Hello, Zadzika. I also like to see some wild animals. Me too. I always get very excited when I see wild animals all around. This is madness. Guadalupe says, this is madness. The schools are closed. I'm sending tasks to students. And a very close friend of the family passed away two days ago. So was, was that something to do with the virus? So I'm sorry to hear that. Terrible, terrible situation. Lan Do says, which city do you live? Where are you now? I am in a place called Much Wenlock. The place I am in at the moment is Much Wenlock, which is in the middle of the countryside. <laughs> it is in the middle of the countryside, far away from other people. And yes, I am in England. Have you lived in England your whole life? Yes, I was born in England. I was raised in England. And I am English. Alpho or Afo. Hello, Afo. I will give you £10 if you say urinator. There we go. You owe me £10. <laughs> You have a lot of chores to do, says Anna. I think we all do. I think one of the difficult things about this period of time is keeping yourself busy, keeping yourself active and having something to do. I think it is that the hardest thing to do at the moment is to keep active and keep doing things. I think so. 
Hello, Fang Bong Da. Hello, Fang. Where are you watching at the moment? I have a feeling that you might be in Vietnam. I think so. What about the situation in Vietnam? What is it like there at the moment? Is Vietnam OK? Are you having an easy time? Or maybe things are very difficult at the moment? Just like many places around the world. BM2 saw, for some reason, this is stress relief. Thank you for your channel. You are welcome. Well, I'm doing this to let you know that you are not alone wherever you are in the world. You have to make sure that you stay happy, stay positive, stay active as well. Ooh, some very interesting messages coming on my screen. <laughs> Ong Trum says, in Vietnam, there are now 100 cases in Vietnam. That's, that's a shame. That's a lot of cases. And a little bit like here in the UK. A few days ago, there were very few cases, very few occurrences of the virus. But now, those cases are increasing. The numbers are slowly increasing they are hello poop <laughs> i love your name by the way <laughs> i could do with one of those now <laughs> hello poop goblin nice to see you here how are you i'm okay but i'm freezing cold i am in the first stages of hypothermia <laughs> mr duncan you are so kind we love you thank you irene it's very kind of you to say it is nice to see you here today, to see you nice. Hello, Mr. Bi oh, microbiologist is here now. I am tired of staying at home. I believe that I'm beginning to put on weight. Ah, yes. People are eating more at the moment. They are eating more than they normally would. And the reason why they are doing that is because they have nothing to do. So if you have nothing to do, quite often you will sit down, you will watch the television and you will eat. You will keep putting food into your mouth. And of course, over a certain period of time, you will start to put on weight. I think so. Hello, Poop Goblin. Mr. Duncan, I am a rat furry role player. Oh, I see. Well, there are people who dress up as furry animals and they all get together in groups. I don't do it myself <laughs> but I believe it is very popular, a very popular pastime. Mr Duncan I think you and Mr Steve should do a live stream at a gymnasium because there are lots of words related to going to the gym. Well I would love to do that. The problem is at the moment all of the gyms have now been closed. They have closed all of the gyms, unfortunately. So the gyms, the places to go to to exercise have now been closed by order of the government. So that's what's happening. Fan Bong asks, how old are you? Why are people so obsessed with my age? Why? I don't know. Why is my age so fascinating? I wonder. We are coming up to, oh, it's nearly 90 minutes. I have been here for one and a half hours. Can you believe it? One and a half hours I've been standing here. I will be going soon. Unfortunately, I know, I know what you're going to say. Mr. Duncan, can you please go now? <laughs> OK, goodbye. No, I will stay a little bit longer, but I will have to go in a minute. <laughs> Haile Kwang is watching in Vietnam. Hello to you. It is nice to see the sun. You know what they say? They always say that the sun shines on the righteous. Isn't that lovely? Mr. Duncan, it doesn't matter what your age is. 
it doesn't matter how old you are, you look young and handsome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Guadalupe. I always try to stay positive, whatever is happening in life, because one day I won't be able to enjoy any of this because I will be gone. Has anyone ever told you that you look like Mr. Bean? Thank you, Annie. Hanny, thank you very much. A lot of people have said that I look like Mr. Bean. Yes, yes, it has happened uh, many times. People have said uh, that I look like Mr. Bean. Thank you very much. Do you need a wife? Do I need one? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can safely say that I don't. I don't need a wife. I don't. Okay? I don't want one. I don't need a wife. Trust me. Kien Tran says, I think I am falling in love with you. Thank you very much. I will be back with you tomorrow. I'm back tomorrow at 2 p.m. UK time and I will be in my nice warm studio tomorrow. I won't be here, standing here in the forest. So tomorrow I will be back with you 2 p.m. UK time tomorrow. And then we can have some fun on the live chat tomorrow as well. I will be back tomorrow. And of course, Mr. Steve will be here as well, even though I will probably put him in isolation. So Mr. Steve will be in isolation tomorrow because he's gone to see his mother. And I told him not to. I said, Steve, you should not go to see your mother. You should stay at home and stay safe. So tomorrow I will have to put Mr. Steve in isolation. So he will be with us, but he will be in isolation. Are you in London? No, I am not. I am not in London. I am definitely not in London. Although London at the moment is, is about as busy as this. So at the moment, London is, is like this completely quiet and not very busy. Thank you, Mr. Duncan, for your live stream. Take care. Yes, I will try to take care for as long as I can. Don't forget also give me a lovely thumb on my video as well. And if you do that, YouTube will show more of my videos to the outside world. And then everyone will get a little sense of my positivity during this time. Thank you very much. <laughs> you remind me of Michael Rosen. I don't know who Michael Rosen is. <laughs> I hope he's a nice person. I love studying English with the live stream. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this live stream. Something very unusual, something special, something different. Yes, I have promised my live streams from London. Well, I can't go to London now. Have you heard? London is now closed. You can't go into any restaurants or bars or anywhere. So many places in London are now shut. So no, I can't go to London. I'd love to. I really want to go to London, but I can't, unfortunately. <laughs> It's not fair. I have, to, I have to stay here in isolation until August. Poop says, you are so hot, Mr. Duncan. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. I, I needed that lift. <laughs> are you, are you me tumble? I don't even know what that means. I can't begin to understand what that means. Are you im? Are you me tumble? <laughs> I don't know. I do have a YouTube channel. I also have a Facebook page as well with thousands and thousands and thousands of people following me on Facebook. So I do have a Facebook page. Always do a thumbs up for your smart live stream. Thank you, Marina. Don't forget to give me a big thumb. 
because I've been standing here for one hour and 34 minutes. <laughs> Hanny says that Facebook is dead. I might agree with you on that. I might actually agree with you there. Dubu, hello Dubu, I am having a bad day. Why? Why are you having a bad day? You don't have to have a bad day. Have a good day. Have a smile. Turn that frown upside down and have a little grin whilst you sip on some gin. Have a great day, Mr. Duncan. Have a great day, Mr. Duncan. Bye, Palmyra. Thank you very much for your company today. And I will be going in a moment. Thank you, Dixie. Thank you, Mr. Bi Mis Mr. Microbiologist. I would imagine that microbiologists are very popular at the moment. So maybe you might be helping to find a cure for this horrible thing that is going around. A lot of people now use Instagram. Yes, it's true. I also have an Instagram account. So yes, I am on Instagram, but I'm not one of those pretty girls who likes to pose in front of their mobile phones going, mm, 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 look at me, I'm on Instagram. Look, I'm so sexy. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. So nothing like that. Ta-ta for now, dear teacher. Thank you for your company. I hope you've enjoyed this live stream. Something very strange, something very unusual. And I will see you tomorrow, 2 p.m. UK time. I will be with you live in my nice, warm studio. Thank you very much to everyone who is watching. I can smell garlic, the garlic is in the air. Hmm. It smells very strong. I have just finished my workout with you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alan Gia, Palmyra. Thank you for your company. I am going now. So I will say goodbye. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to give me a nice big thumbs up to show that you care. Thank you very much. I loved this live stream. Thank you for everything. See you tomorrow, 2 p.m. UK time. I'm now going back home to have a nice cup of tea and maybe some soup as well. <sighs> that sounds very nice. Thank you, good puss. Thank you, Ong. Thank you also to Berlin. Thank you, Pito. Thank you, Dewey Tran. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow, 2 p.m. UK time. This is Mr. Duncan in the birthplace of English saying thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been interesting. It's been fun. It's been, hopefully, a little bit educational as well because that is the reason why we are here. Stay happy, stay well. Don't forget to clean, clean your hands, wash your hands, stay away from people. I've been doing that for most of my life, to be honest. And of course, until the next time we meet here on YouTube, you know what's coming next. See you tomorrow. Have a great day and keep that smile on your face, okay? And ta-ta for now. Please don't go, Mr. Duncan. Please don't go. I have to go because I'm freezing cold. I can feel parts of my body are starting to fall off. It's so cold. It's so cold. It's very cold.